All right, live now. All right. Uh, welcome to uh, Dev Talk on MatterBuild. Uh, I'm Christopher, a uh, developer at MatterBuild Incorporated. Um, so, uh, what what is MatterBuild? Uh, MatterBuild is a little slash command that we have uh, written to uh, help control our build system. So, uh, here's 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 what happens if you type the MatterBuild command. It gives you a little bit of help. So it can cut a release. Well, it, can, it can display this help. It, it, it can run load tests on uh, Kubernetes. That's still under development. Uh, it can just run a, run a job on Jenkins, see a configuration. Those are mostly for debugging. And you can also uh, set CI and set pre-release, which basically um, sets uh, uh, where the CI, what, what branch or build the CI servers and the previous server uh, pull from. So that's what it does. Uh, now let's, oops, let's do a little demo. So I have a little uh, demo here. This obviously isn't hooked up to uh, our actual build system. So when I type these commands, it will air out. But so I do matter build, uh, let's do help cut. And so it'll tell me how to do that. So it looks like I got to specify a release. And if it's a backboard, I do that flag. So master build cut 4.2. 4. Let's, let's go ahead and cut 4.2 a little early. And then that would go off and cut the build. But uh, we have, uh, well, obviously, I haven't hooked this up to actually do it. So it just says failure. Um, yeah, and basically the rest of the um, test work like that. So match or build load test. Uh, so like, say we want to load test master. And then load testing master, that would run off. And then the build server or would take care of that. Um, so how, 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 how exactly is this all put together? So. Uh, it's, it's open source. You can see the code at github.com slash mattermo slash matterbuild. Uh, there's sort of two main libraries that uh, sort of hook this all together. Uh, so there's Cobra, which is the, uh, the sort of, it handles the fancy CLI type uh, help that you get. Uh, it's, it's the same library we use for the, the platform command as well. Uh, really, really useful if you're going to build something like this. Really helpful for slash commands. Um, and then there's uh, Go Jenkins, uh, which is just a library to hook up uh, Jenkins. So we can take a look at the code here. Uh, so the main main function is just start the server, go into the server directory. There's config, which is just standard config. Uh, Jenkins, which is our interface to Jenkins, and then server, which is sort of the interesting stuff happens. Uh, so we go to server, a bunch of um, bunch of helper functions. Uh, so here's start. Uh, so we load our configuration. Uh, the main uh, set up a couple of handlers. This is the important one, which is the slash command handler. So when Mattermost uh, uh, in interprets your slash command, it will send uh, a post request to uh, the URL you configure, which will be here. Uh, scroll down a bit. Uh, we have um, all of the Cobra stuff, so that interprets uh, what Mattermost sent to you. Um, then, so that that that's very similar to sort of what you'd get uh, in in Mattermost itself as well. Uh, then there's some there's a special little bit that allows you to hook it up to just raw text input rather than CLI. Um, and then you 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 can read the rest of this code. It's pretty sort of standard glue stuff. Uh, the handlers just uh, sort of move it off to the Jenkins library, calls out to Jenkins, and Jenkins is where all the uh, the sort of the build logic is. So yeah, that is that. That's pretty much it. Um, join us on pre-release, uh, our, our our internal development mattermost instance. Some channels you might want to join. Thanks for listening.